I wish you a very happy weekend. Uh, greetings again from the Sapphire Princess. If you're watching this on Saturday, tonight we will be in Victoria, British Columbia. I'm going to take my granddaughter on a carriage ride there with the horses and the, the fancy Cinderella carriage. And we're going to have a ball. This morning, we have a meditation by Craig McAndrew, a counselor from Kansas City, Missouri. I will be presenting the third part of my program, Journey. We will have a secret friend revealed. This is a fun thing that we do. On the first day, everybody takes a name of another passenger that's on our cruise. And then they send secret notes and maybe buys them a cookie and puts it in their cabin mailbox and neat little things like that. And then on Saturday, you find out who your secret friend was. It's a, a, one of the real joys of our retreat. Reverend Shea St. John will be speaking this morning. She uh, is the minister of a church in North Houston, Texas. And I'll be doing a video preview of the next cruise, which uh, I encourage you to go on. Uh, it's $97 to sign up, and you better do it, because you know if you, if you don't, you won't. And uh, a lot of times, impulse acts uh, bring great joy in our lives. And I encourage you to do it right away. We don't have that many cabins. They'll, they'll go fairly quickly. Reverend Jerry Hyde from Norman, Oklahoma is speaking this morning. Also Reverend Barbara Williams. Uh, she is from uh, Port Ritchie, Florida. She'll be doing a presentation. We've got a lot happening this morning in between the, the meetings too. And of course always a lot of laughter. Sunday we'll be back in Seattle and uh, many are going to be touring there. Uh, I'm going to be flying home with my family from Seattle uh, on, on Sunday. When you know that God is with you, it changes everything. It brings about a faith inside of your life that causes a great joy. And I want you to journey every day in that way. So many people are so apprehensive about their life. And they creep along, and it's a fear-filled creep, an anxiety-filled creep. Uh, I don't want you to creep along that way. I want you to flow along with the, with the joy of God. Now, I'm not preaching at you. It took me years to discover that. I used to live the other way. All people have lived the other way, and it is useless, unnecessary suffering. And we bring this suffering on to ourselves, more than conditions and more than circumstances. It's what's going on inside of us. Give yourself a break, my friend. Give yourself peace. And then, beyond that, and this is the biggie, you go to God and you ask for that infilling. And that is the real spiritual power, the knowledge that you don't have to go it alone. That you have a spiritual strength that is given to you. A spiritual health, a spiritual dynamo that is inside of you that will help you feel secure at all times you will start to enjoy life and you'll enjoy your journey. And that is what life is all about. It is too precious to waste. Any day is a day thrown away if we spend that day in fear and anxiety. If you have to go to God one time, if you have to go to God 60,000 times during the day, it is better than to spend one moment in fear. To have that peace come through you, when you're touched by God, you know it at the core of your being. It changes more than your day. It can change you. I have seen people change like that. I've, I've seen people touched by God and changed for the whole rest of their life. And God can change you in a millisecond of time. 
So I pray that you have an incredible weekend. I pray that you have journeys of spiritual experiences and real happenings happening in and through you of God. God bless you, my friend.